Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope that you are filled with joy and comfort and love this day. I hope that you are surrounded by those whom you loved. And in those situations where you can't physically be with your loved ones for this Christmas day, I hope that you have Zoom capacity to be with them at some point this day and spend some time with them. Today is our last devotional in our Advent devotional for Christmas Day, and I'd like to read for you the scripture from Luke that tells us about the birth of the Messiah. In those days, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered, Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. This is my thought for the day. Do not be afraid, for God will send forth a son. A tiny child will come to comfort and love everyone. A virgin will give birth. God's son will come to earth. So open up your hearts. Let the Christ child in. Those who were walking in darkness have seen a wondrous light. For unto us a child is born, a prince of peace and light. Today, as we celebrate the birth of God's Son, the words of this stirring Christmas anthem seem to be more than the beautiful words of a song. In the midst of our world, which is filled with strife and chaos, these words issue a special challenge. Can we let the Christ child in. What would it mean in your life if you were to resolve today to let the Christ child enter into your life? What would it mean to the world if we were to resolve to let the Christ child into our daily work, our relationships, our church? Throughout this day, as you celebrate, Allow thoughts of the peace and comfort of the Christ child to enter into your thoughts. Pause to sense his presence. Welcome him fully as the gift of God that he is. 
Let the Christ child in and marvel at the way your life will change. This is the prayer that I wrote for today. Holy Jesus, in the midst of today's celebrations, may your presence be more fully known in the hearts of your people. Bring us light. Comfort us with your peace. Shower us with your love. Help us to have this spirit in our hearts each day we live, not only during a certain season of the year. Help us be changed by the power of your grace. Amen. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye.